love that. I love that beautiful. You can hear her tone already as a beginner. You could hear her vibrato. You could hear her tongue. You can hear her slurring. Even the grace note looks so beautiful. And at this point, you see. All right, guys. Welcome back to Mosak's New World Empire channel. This is another saxophone class, and today I tell you I'm very excited because I'm here to show you something about the way we take the classes in Mosak's New World Empire uh, Sax Academy. I have a student here with me, and I'm excited. She's just uh, graduating from the beginners class, and uh, I want to see. I want to show you what she has learned. Just in the space of two, between two and three months, uh, she has completed the beginner's class. She's here, uh, Mrs. Elizabeth Lizzie Sachs. You know, if I'm the one, the way we name ourselves here, I just say Lizzie Sachs, you know. Uh, Mrs. Elizabeth, you're welcome. Just for free, we're going to show you all that she has learned. What it means is that she sponsored this video and then uh, so that it can come to you free. So you can pause, forward, rewind and just see what she's doing and start practicing. It's as simple as that. But she can also encourage you, for those of you that want us to take you through these teachings, one after the other, like we have done for her, we do it online and we do it offline uh, here in Abuja. All right. Thank you, Ma. So we're going to take it one after the other. The first thing I teach my students when they register and I notice they are beginners is that we take them through the parts of the sax, the keys of the sax, the sax and brocure. The sax and brocure is very important. That's where she knows um, we correct and make sure she properly position her mouth well and blows the saxophone. And then we start doing the breath exercise where she breathes in, hold her chest, and start playing for giving me that long tone, a consistent tone. Now, don't put vibrato now. Go ahead now, play without vibrato. Let's go. Beautiful. Having learned the past of the SARS, we teach her the fingering uh, exercise. Remember the fingering exercise we taught you? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Preparing her to play without mixing her fingerings and uh, of course when you're playing the saxophone you don't have the opportunity to look at the sax when playing so it is in this finger exercise uh several finger exercises that we give her that will help her to be able to position her finger well and be able to hold the saxophone very well. after we're done with all of that in the first part of the beginners class we went into playing the sax and actually playing the notes of the saxophone the first thing that comes to mind is the major scale, and we taught that major scale. And it is. Excellent sound. See, from the low notes, she's able to hit the lowest note of that C. Now, the next thing after doing all of that, she's going to start permutating the low. We set to overtone. You, you notice you are blowing sax, and then instead of having the low note, you are having things like you are not pressing the octave key, yet you are having a high. Mmm. -hmm. 
Can you do the same for pentatonic? <laughs> Excellent. So she's able to play pentatonic scale in two octave already. So now she's going to permutate now in two octave. Excellent, excellent. Now, at this point, whatever song I write for her, honestly, she's going to play it. The only songs I will not bother her with now is songs that are too fast, songs that are too long. So, and then she starts playing them, just pa, 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 just like that, like that. No slurry, no grace note, no vibrato, nothing. As she's practicing this, at this point, sulfurs are forming in her mind, isn't it? She now knows this is me, this is so, this is la, this is do. Because the permutations are helping her jump here and there, jump here and there. And then gradually, she will even notice very soon if you ask her to play so far, she knows where so is. She already knows so is G, uh, fa is F, uh, based on the key she is. She knows we've done all those theories, and she knows how to know which key falls with which so far, as far as a particular key uh, center is concerned. And then she has that. Already, so now she has finished playing songs. The next thing we move into is the basic sax techniques that defines a professional tone. I want to give, even as a beginner, I want her to play sax with professional tone. And the first thing that comes to my mind is vibrato. <laughs> The first type of song we do is songs like I surrender, songs like Hosanna in the highest, hallelujah. Those songs give her opportunity to draw her note and therefore gradually practice her vibrato. And then another songs. Um, let the living water flow over my soul, Father, or we give you all. So those are the songs. Don't forget at this point, I'm not disturbing her with uh, metronome for the permutations. I'm just interested in her knowing the notes. And because her brain is still working with knowing which one is the me, which one is the fa, which one is the so, which one is the la, which one is the ti. So if you bother her now with speed, you're going to confuse her progress. She has learned vibrato, and then we take the next week, we go again into the chromatic scale. Chromatic scale is going to usher us into the slurring technique. What's chromatic? She cannot go and do the slurring. Slurring is just playing a semitone note before the target note to emphasize the target note. So, and then I go to her songs and begin to underline where I want her to slur. 
where I want her to slur. Okay, then after this, she has practiced all her song again on slurring and vibrato. We go into grace note. <laughs> Before you can understand uh, Grace note, notice that we have introduced her to alternative um, ring ring chat. So she is ready to play her song. Let's play a few songs and demonstrate all that she has learned. I want to hear her vibrato, I want to hear her slurring, I want to hear her tonguing, I want to hear her Grace note. I love that beautiful you can hear her tone already as a beginner you could hear her vibrato you could hear her tongue you can hear her slurring even the grace note looks so beautiful and at this point you see so now let's do another song <laughs> I love that. Well done, man. That's great, man. She has actually enrolled again for the intermediate class. In the intermediate class, we're going to be showing her to, as she's going to play all these things in keys like key D, key E, key F, key G, key A, and key B. But when we get when we get to those other keys, it's not going to take her this long because she already knows the note, especially in solfas. Now the next she's going to learn is she's going to start doing improvisation in the intermediate class. The passing note, the landing note, the arpeggio, the pass splitting, the major scale leaks, the pentatonic scale leaks, echoing, you know, how to echo, and every other, you know, doubling, targeting, enclosures, you know, things like, um, things that will help her to even start improvising, even at that intermediate uh, level. 
When she's done with that class, we're going to come back to, you know, do a, a, a revision like this in the intermediate course. I hope you're looking forward to those classes. Please subscribe if you have not. Uh, Mrs. Elizabeth, we thank you for the time. Thank you for being part of us. Uh, so we just said, uh, do you have any words for them? Do you want to say anything to encourage someone? I will encourage you to come and enroll for Mossack's lesson. It has been a great, I've enjoyed myself, I've been enjoying myself. I want you to come to and enjoy yourself. In less than two, three months, you'll be a professional. At least you'll be able to play very well and you'll be happy with yourself. God bless. Here in New World is all about music. Pentatonic skills, all like the major skills. You just have to move.